Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. Today I've got my eyes set on a very interesting tool that rivals Hitman Pro in functionality and effectiveness. Now this is Zamana Anti-Malware version 2. It is meant to be a second opinion scanner just like Hitman Pro and Malwarebytes and many other tools that I use. The user interface, as you can see, is very different from that of Hitman Pro. I remember when they launched, they had quite a different UI, but right now, this is what it looks like. It's neat and clean. I kind of like it. I have no issues. It's very easy to find what you want to do. However, I would like a different custom scan option, which I find missing over here. To scan some specific files. Now at the moment if you have to do that you just have to drag and drop them over here but I would like an alternative to that too. Now the part where it gets interesting is when we look at the engines it uses. So this product uses their own engine in combination with Kaspersky, we all know how good they are, ESET, once again excellent signatures, AVG, pretty decent signature engine again, Bitdefender, one of the best, and Avira, once again, one of the best. So we've got a very good collection of independent signature based engines. Like, I remember a time when some products, even Hitman Pro, had repeating engines like they had MCSoft, Kaspersky, eh, sorry something like MCSoft, GData, and even Bitdefender all at once. So there was a lot of reputation, but in this case you can see this is a very fine selection of engines. So now the only thing I have to test out is how well these are implemented and whether or not it is able to use these engines to perform its job or to find malware and remove it. So let's get started. First of all, I've got a folder of malware here. We've got 283 items. So what I'm going to do is first I will be doing a custom scan of this folder and we'll see how many it can detect that will give us a good idea of the detection ratio and whether or not it's really using all those engines properly. And once this part of the test is done, we'll go over to an infected machine and then we'll find out whether or not it can actually remove malware from an already infected system. So let's get started. As you can see, it connects to their scan cloud and then it begins the scan. And as far as I've seen, the scan is pretty fast. I'm going to try not to pause the video so that you can actually see how long it takes. Because that's one of the most important things in a second opinion scanner. The scanning speeds. If it's really slow, fat chance anybody's going to use it. You can see it's detecting stuff already. Now, this is not a system scan, so it's actually scanning the files within a folder that I have selected. So it's not quite as fast as the usual system scan. Let's see what we've got here. We've got Salady, Droppers, Downloaders. Some of these are being uploaded to the cloud. And we've got Zbots. Plenty of stuff. Worm. Now meanwhile, while this is scanning, let's just go and check out our virtual machine. 
So, this is our VM, and as you can see, it's not doing very well. We've got tons of malware running on the system. They're all active and in the pretty much in action. As you can see, malware in Windows, startup, program data, once again, Windows. This is not at all a pleasant system. Host.exe in Windows again. We've got it pretty much pretty badly infected. Although we don't see so many visual artifacts to show that, we definitely have a ton of active malware on this system. As you can see, this is Hitman Pro scan results, and Hitman Pro uses Bitdefender plus Kaspersky. Well, let's see how Zamana does here. So, while it is removing threats from my host machine, let me start a scan over here on the virtual machine. So what I'm going to do is I'll first do a smart scan and let's see how many it can detect with that. Okay, we're almost there, 283 files, and we've reached about 70%, I would say. This tool, if it turns out to be as good as and as promising as it looks, well, I might even add it to my toolbox and use it in my usual prevention tests as my second opinion scanner. If it's actually using all those engines, it's going to be an excellent tool. Okay, something interesting just happened. Looks like... Hmm, looks like it was terminated. I'm not sure by what. We definitely have some malware on the system that is capable of doing that. Okay, interesting. So I'll just close Hitman Pro and I'll just rename this tool and let's try running it again. If the malware doesn't allow this to run in the first place, that'll make my job a lot harder. But Hitman Pro did work, so I would be expecting this tool to work as well. We're almost there on the detection test. Mm, interesting, so it looks like it's getting terminated real quick. Not sure which malware is doing that. Hmm. As you can see, not a, not too many friendly faces in the processes. Okay, I'll just try to restart the system and we'll see if that helps out. If not, I guess I'll have to try safe mode. Meanwhile though, our scan over here is done and wow! It looks like it's detected all of the malware. So I'll go ahead and remove these. So I'm going to select apply to all, delete. That should get rid of everything. And as you can see, we can see which engines have detected the files. Deletion is pretty quick, and it's done. Nothing's left, and that's really good news, because at a moment I was thinking maybe it doesn't really use the full signatures or something, because at first it kind of seemed too good to be true, but I guess it is true. 
and this is an excellent tool in terms of detection but things are not that simple over here so let's go ahead and log in and try again so let's try running this real quick and maybe it'll get through before the malware loads up and tries to terminate it no that's not gonna happen looks like the malware has a pretty firm grip on the system so I guess I'll take a break and I'll try to figure out how to get this to work on this badly infected system but this is a disadvantage keep in mind Hitman Pro was not terminated by the malware but this tool is so that's something they might want to work on on making it more difficult for malware to terminate because there's no point having a tool with excellent signatures if you can't run it in the first place because there are a lot of malware over here it's really difficult for me to determine which one is actually responsible welcome back I'm in safe mode right now and I'm trying to run some mana anti malware and guess what happens it doesn't run it says you can't run anti malware in safe mode in normal mode the malware won't let it run and in safe mode it is just not designed to run so although this application has got excellent signatures thanks to the engines that it uses I find it very inadequate when it comes to actual features that would allow you to clean a system because if it doesn't run in safe mode and it doesn't have some kind of force breach mode or something like that that Hitman Pro has and it's basically locked out of a system like this there is nothing that you can do and considering this is a tool to remove malware there is no point having it without um, you know being able to run it on an infected machine so this tool now cannot clean the system that I have created it's too badly infected for Zamana to clean and I will basically have to resort to other methods or tools to clean the system so that is not an ideal result so I definitely want the developers of this tool to work on this to make it more difficult to terminate and also to make it available in safe mode because a lot of malware makes it really difficult to work in normal mode and if you just do not function in safe mode that is a big demerit for an anti-malware tool like this but anyway since we have to see some kind of you know detection capability what I'll do is I'll restart the system I'll create a new infected system and hopefully we'll be able to run this tool on that so I'll be back in a while well here we are this system is infected to a much lesser extent and thanks to that fact Zamana was able to complete its scan so let's go ahead and see if it can remove all these threats so I'm once again going to quarantine all this time so let's go ahead and see what it does so it creates a restore point before cleaning and it seems to have done its job let's see if something's still running didn't ask me for a reboot surprisingly so let's go ahead and see if um, we've got any malware still running on the system we still seem to have some files they're probably hidden 
Okay, it's in public download. So let's go and see if we can find that file. Let's do another scan with Samana just to make sure that it's not because of the reboot that these files are still present. Okay, here it is. And I guess this one is actually on my network location, so I'm not going to count this one as a infection. Now let's see if it detects anything more. Well, Zamana says our PC is safe, so it failed to detect this one piece of malware, which is not necessarily a really bad result. It's still pretty good. But once again, I would say it takes more than an engine to make a product. You need years of development to exactly get the correct implementation. And Zamana just aren't there yet. So although at first glance it may look very impressive and better than most other tools, but on further inspection you will find out that it's not quite as good. But nevertheless it's very promising and I will add it to my toolbox and use it as a second opinion scanner in my tests. And that way we'll also be able to test it out on a regular basis and then maybe after a few months of usage I'll be able to comment better on this product. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. It was pretty long because things didn't go as planned and I had to create a second virtual machine and infect it. But anyway, it was all good at the end. So this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next PC Security Channel video. Stay informed, stay secure.